Well, isn't that a beautiful sight? What's up, guys, and welcome to the Australian Grand Prix. Unfortunately, this is going to be our only Melbourne race that we've got this year. Now, here's the deal. I miss this game dearly, dude. Like, last year when we first played through this and we did our first rookie season, I had so much fun. I became an instant F1 fan. I learned so much. Like, it was truly a blast. One of my favorite series that we have ever done on this on this channel and wow this is a a pretty pretty high traffic start I'm a little bit worried I'm gonna try not try not to lose our front wing here gotta get in there gotta fight for positions but also don't want to run into anybody all right that was that was pretty good we gained a couple of positions there that's what I'm talking about so uh, anyway, yeah, I just I, I absolutely loved it, and I, I I've been looking for a reason, looking for an excuse, coming up with ideas of, of ways we could do it again and make it interesting. And what I wanted to do this year is with the launch of the 2020 season, which ideally would have started yesterday in in Australia, or I guess technically two days ago, right? Because of time differences, I, whatever it is. Anyway, it should have started recently, but it was canceled. And uh, then I think the next three races, Bahrain. Uh, Vietnam and China have all been postponed. Technically, the season's not supposed to start until early May now, and who knows if that's even going to happen. So what I was going to do is, as the, the real season went on, like the live in-person season, I was going to do those same races at the same time on the channel. So as they raced Australia, we were going to race Australia. As they raced Bahrain, we were going to race Bahrain, etc., etc., and I thought that'd be something kind of fun because it's like we can talk about it, talk about how the season's going, you know, kind of get into it, get a little nerdy with it, that sort of thing. Okay, you're in the top and obviously, head. obviously that's not going to work out. So uh, originally I was just going to scrap the idea, but then I thought, hey, if there's no real F1, why would we not, why would we not try to use some virtual F1 instead? Like that, that honestly gives us even more of a reason to try to race virtually. And ooh, we got a nice... A nice pass around the outside on our, our teammate Lando there. That's what I'm talking about. I mean, depending on how this video does, depending on what you guys think, then uh, that, that could be our little thing. You know, every Sunday, a little F1 video. Nothing too crazy. Not a, a huge commitment. There's a bunch of other games that I want to get into right now, both on the simulator and off of it. But I just, I felt like that might be kind of a fun way to celebrate a not so, uh, not so bright time and an amazing sports history so let me let me know what you guys think we'll, we'll see what we can do um i definitely miss it i'm definitely a little out of practice i did drop our difficulty a little bit i'll just be honest with you guys we were on expert difficulty where we last left off and i've dropped this down to hard i, I feel like we kind of needed a a bit of leeway to get back into it to get our our feet back under us and i guess we'll we'll see what okay, we can do here DRS is enabled, so that's going to be good for us. Can we get around Verstappen right here? Ooh, getting our tire off into the grass. Kind of. Could have, could have probably passed him there, but we gave it up. That's fine. Let's not lock up our tires here. Let's get around. All right, we might have some opportunities. Don't touch your wing, dude. I don't want to lose our wing. We've got 15 laps, and it's lap three. We do not need to make these passes right now. We're going to be A-OK. -okay. We're going to be perfectly fine. We might... Ooh, I was thinking about cutting to the inside there, but they were late to get over. we got to get around both of these Red Bulls, man. Let's see if we can take them on the inside. Well, we hit the, the baller there, but we got them both. <laughs> and we got DRS. <laughs> I think the, the stewards may want to have a, a look at that one. That was a little... Okay, clear. No, we're good? Okay, we'll, we'll take it. That felt a little sketchy to me. Felt like it may have been an illegal maneuver, and we definitely took out that pole. But we're just gonna keep uh, we're just gonna keep working with it. Here we go. Uh, George Russell is out of the session. I thought that was gonna be on us. All right, the FIA is our our friend today. I guess we're kind of starting to get close to striking distance. If we can get in that DRS range and get that DRS. That is gonna be huge for us. We still have quite a few laps over. Uh, over our fuel requirement, so that's good. Slow and steady, dude. We just gotta fight our way back. I chose McLaren for a reason. Obviously, we did Haas with our, our season. I like being a, a mid-tier guy. I, don't, I didn't wanna be up in the front. I don't feel like that's very fun. Unless you put it on a ridiculously hard difficulty, which we aren't ready for. Um, 
I figured, you know, kind of trying to trying to make our way up and make some moves is, is kind of cool. I feel like we're in a pretty good spot here where we, if we race well, we'll catch up to these guys, but if we make mistakes, then they're going to pull away from us. But it does, it does look like we might be catching them. We will get DRS on this next main stretch, I believe. So we'll see what we can do. Bit of an ugly, ugly corner there, but I think if we break late after this main front stretch, we break late, we might actually be able to get around these guys. Let's go inside. Oh, I wanted it. We've got another DRS zone. I guess we're just going to have to try to go around the outside. Break late, come on, come on, come on. We got him. Here we go. This is what I'm talking about. Slam on the brake. Come in late. Cut these corners a bit. Woohoo! Made up some good ground right there. A little late on activating our DRS because we were celebrating. But that's uh, that's going to be all right. We're, we're looking pretty good. I think if we set ourselves up nicely, we should, should be able to catch him in the same spot that we did Botas last time. Woohoo! That was close. Oh, ran a little wide there. Shoot. We're going to be okay. It's, it's going to be just fine. We still might be able to make a play. Nope, it's not going to happen. We're going to be quicker on those DRSs, and we got to make sure we get good, good turns leading into them. That's going to make the difference. I just can't, dude, I can't believe that they they waited so long to call it like if you guys were following mclaren was the first team that pulled out of uh the agp and then like I, I think it was like a day or maybe two days later is when oh shoot we cut that corner that's a warning well well worth it yep sorry about that fia i, I definitely cut that one um a day or two later is when it was canceled and like all those teams all the cars all the the logistics and the setups and everything we're all out here and set up and it was good to go. And that's just like, dude, that is crazy. I feel so bad for all the people involved and all the fans, of course. It's just a, uh, it's a, a pretty crappy situation. There we go. That was a good exit to a turn before a long straight with DRS. We've got to do more of that. It's going to be our in lap. So we're going to be going into the pits here. Hit that DRS immediately, starting to come back to me. I'm starting to, to remember some of the DRS points. I definitely don't feel like we're as fast as Leclerc, though. He's kind of kicking our butt right now. I will say that we have improved the gap behind, but we aren't really getting the chance to catch up to Leclerc here. We're, I mean, this is the closest we've been, so we might be able to make something happen right here. Come on, baby. Dude, he is so... Look how quick he is. That is insane. Come on, baby. We're actually in a pretty good spot. I don't know how to overtake. I don't think this next corner is very good for overtaking, though. I love it. We're sliding and stuff a little bit. I'm just going to take it easy. I don't even remember where, to be completely honest, I don't even really remember where the entrance to pit lane is. Oh, we take a left and then it's on the right, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we want to follow this blue line. Looks like Leclerc is going into the pits too. Where's the line? Oh, God, we made it. We're good. Woo! That was actually pretty beautiful. We'll take it. So he's in the pits right there. We're going to be pulling in right here. Come on, baby. Dude, I thought we were going to get out back in front of him, but we're in a good spot. We've got fresh tires. We've got six laps to go, and I think we might be able to make some plays. Let's get, some heat into those tires. get some heat in those tires, baby. Whew. All right. Oh, dude, I'm, I'm feeling frisky. I'm feeling frisky, and we got the DRS. I'm going right around the outside here, Leclerc. I'm sorry. You can't even defend that, baby. Woo! That's what I'm talking about. All right. So that's going to put it us at a, a, a provisional P6, but really, I think that's P, P3. Are we on the podium now? I guess we'll see how the uh, the strategies for the front runners work, but um, we're definitely racing a pretty good race so far.
Again, I will say it's not on the hardest difficulty we've ever done, so I hate taking too much credit, but it feels good to be back in the driver's seat, that's for sure. Ah, Lando's in the pits. Okay. That's cool. We'll say hi to him as we drive by. He's the man, dude. I, re I actually really like him. If you guys don't ever follow him on Twitch, he streams on Twitch a lot from his simulator. I think he was one of the highest viewed people. I think he was the highest viewed stream on Twitch yesterday. They actually did a mock Australian GP online, um, which is uh, is pretty cool. But um, he seems like a cool dude. So uh, anyway, it looks like we are up to P2. Which means we're in front of, uh, we're in front of, who do we pass? Was it Botas? No, we passed him a while ago. I must be turned around. I, I thought we were going to be in P3, but we are definitely in P2 here. Woo! That was a little bit sketchy right there, I'm not going to lie. But check it out, guys. We got a purple sector in the, the first part of this lap, which is good. So we're, we're going to keep pushing. I would imagine this last sector is not going to be as great for us. But, um, you know, even though even though Hamilton's got this this carrot dangling a little out of our reach, we're, we're still trying to trying to set some some nice pace on these old tires. So we've got two laps to go. It's like Hamilton won, but um, I'm I'm good with a second place, baby. We'll take it. All right, race over. Take care of the car on the way in. All right. So there you guys have it. I don't know, just kind of a little blast from the past. I just, I, I've really, really missed this. This game, as well as a few others, are ones I kind of want to start getting back to or maybe try some new things with here on the simulator. I just, I, I love getting in here and I love doing racing games with you guys. So let me know what you guys think. If you guys want us to do this, maybe every Sunday, just kind of do our thing and uh, pretend like F1 is actually back this year, uh, let me know down in the comments. Hope you guys enjoyed. I'm going to see you all later. Drop a like, subscribe, ring that bell. Peace out.